Santos Rolon Jr. here, and I have to get something off of my mind. I have to get something off of my chest. I want to share something in this message with you. First of all, I want to say that I am grateful today to be here in front of you. And I want to thank you for taking time to listen to this message that I have in this video. I truly believe that what I'm about to share with you is going to change the way you see things, is going to change the way you think, is going to change the way that maybe you'll view my videos going forward. First of all, I always say this, that every single day I get up, I'm going to make it a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top day, daily, in spite of and because of. Now, I'm a product of coaching. I'm a product of mentorship. I have coaches and I have mentors in my life. Some of them are alive and some of them have already passed on. Because of them in my life and because of their education, I have come to give myself permission to dream, to visualize, to use my imagination, the gift that my creator has given me and has given you. What is my purpose now? My purpose is to serve you on the other side. By the way, it takes courage to listen to what I'm sharing. And I want to thank you ahead of time. It takes courage to change. It takes courage to believe. It takes courage to discipline your life. It takes courage. The word courage. And if you have it, I salute you. I'm here to motivate. I'm here to inspire. I'm here to help you on the other side of the screen create and develop your purpose, your dream. I am here to help you as I've been helped, as I've learned to give myself permission to dream, to become creative, to raise my standards. I don't need to wait for a New Year's resolution. I don't need for uh, s someone to tell me that I need to do this or, or do the other thing. I, I've already been given permission. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm on YouTube. And that's why I'm so gr grateful and I'm so thankful. I'm no better than you on the other side of the screen. I just choose to live differently every single day. I had someone today try to frighten me. That person, in fact, that person has already threatened me in the past. I'm going to smear your image on the internet. I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to talk about the real person that you truly are. If people only knew what you're all about. Am I supposed to be moved by that? Am I supposed to be scared? Am I supposed to try to uh, perform some kind of a special thing to try to block that? No. I said, go right ahead. You see, it's not about those things that people see on the internet. Of course it is, right? My message, I believe in my message. It's about the lifestyle that I live. You see, I respect myself. I've come to a place where I come. I, I love the person that I am. I respect the person that I am. And I have high standards. And when somebody threatens me or somebody comes against me and says that they're going to do thus and so, I say go right ahead. You see, you on the other side has to make a decision upon what you think about me. And I'm not worried about that because I know who I am. I know where I'm going in life and I know what I want in life. And my friend, that's the same warrior mindset that you have to have also when it comes to your enemies. The warrior's creed, the soldier's creed, I posted on my Facebook. In fact, I've been reading it quite a bit lately. GoArmy.com, the soldier's creed, if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe I'll post it below in this video. I probably will, so you'll see what I'm talking about. There's a, a statement made about the United States soldier. 
And towards the bottom, it talks about being ready to deploy, engage, and destroy in a hand-to-hand -hand combat the enemies of the United States. Well, I've inserted in that phrase the enemies that come against my positive mindset. I'm ready to defeat and destroy in hand-to-hand -hand combat. In other words, immediately, head on. Now, I'm not here to try to change you. I'm not here to try to impress you. That's not what this is about. This message is, is, I'm speaking this message and I feel really inspired to do this because I need to inspire and I need to motivate people. You on the other side, you may be, this may be the first video that you come across about me or maybe you've been following me on YouTube and I thank you for that. I thank you and I truly hope that my messages and my philosophies and rituals inspire you to become the very best that you can be on a daily basis. Now, once again, I've had great input in my life. I've had, I have, I still have coaches and mentors and teachers that inspire me, that have given me permission. I no longer need permission from them because I've already taken it and I've applied it to my life. And I am not going to be moved by other people's thoughts or words or threats. I will not be moved by other people's words or their threats against me. I will stand up for myself because I have respect. But all that tells me about these people that actually come against me and think that they can cause me to fear in some way, it tells me that they themselves have no, they have no respect and they truly do not understand what it is to have purpose and a standard in life. I live my life, I'm not a perfect individual, but I live my life according to the biblical principles. I will quote to myself the Soldier's Creed on a daily basis. I will read that. I will, I will repeat to myself that God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God has given me a gift. God, your creator has given you a gift and you need to learn to live by that standard every single day. We need to raise our standards. We need to cement a flag and draw a line in the cement, not in the sand. If you draw a line in the sand and say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do the other thing, people, circumstances, and the, and the waves of, 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 of experiences and things that come at us, will wash away like like the like the waves of the ocean coming upon the seashore it'll wash away that decision but when you plant your flag in the cement and you raise your standards like Stephen Covey talks about raising your standards and living according to the way that you say you will live on a daily basis Anthony Robbins talks about raising your standards living on a higher mindset, living according to a higher level, being an example for others to follow. I'm not going to change people. People are going to change themselves. I'm not going to change you. You're going to give yourself permission to change. I, I'm not going to raise your standards. You're going to give yourself permission to raise your standards. And those standards are going to come through your coaches, your mentors, people like myself that's sharing what others have given me. I talk about rituals. I talk about philosophy. I talk about a positive mindset. I talk about optimizing your paradigms. I talk about planting the right seeds in this gift, this fertile garden that you have. I'm telling you, my friend, you and I must protect our minds because we have a lot of enemies that are going to come against us. We're in a war zone. We are in a war zone. There are things, there are people, there are music, there's media that is trying to captivate the attention of your mind and fill it with programs. Everybody's, everybody's operating on a certain software. You're operating on a certain program, my friend. You send off vibes. You give off a certain energy. I do too. What kind of an energy are we giving forth? 
What kind of a vibe are we sending out to the world? My goal is to make the world a better place before I leave planet Earth. My goal is to leave a legacy for others to follow, for my family. Maybe someday some of my family members will see what I'm truly all about and what I'm capable and what I have been doing all along. I encourage you to check out more of my videos. I encourage you to grow with me. I encourage you to get on this journey that I'm on. If you go to my videos and you see some of my older videos and the, the videos that are present and the ones that I will be putting forth in the future, you can grow. You can see my growth. And it's not about me. It's not about bragging. It's not about pride. It's about me setting a standard and you setting your standards and following those standards on a daily basis so that people so that people will listen, so that people will change, so that people will be motivated to change their lifestyle and get rid of all of those nasty habits, that stinking thinking. Overcome. Live a life of victory every single day wherein they can say, make up their own mantra. My mantra is to live every single day with a super fantastic, terrific, over the top, over the top daily mindset because of and in spite of, or in spite of and because of. I'm telling you, my friend, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be sharing in this video, and I'm going to be ending soon. But I want you to know a little bit about me, because a lot of people, I think some people become intim intimidated by me. I have the same, I face the same fears that you face on a daily basis. I fail forward every single day. I fail forward every single day. I face the same challenges that you face every day. I choose to become uncomfortable. I choose to embrace the challenges. I choose to accept the difficulties and even difficult people at times because they are a blessing in disguise. They're going to help you. They're going to help me. All of these, all of these things. I thank my mother, I thank my father, even though I had a really, really difficult upbringing. I thank my mentors, I thank my coaches, I thank my team members that are in my business, that are part of my business. And I will make a difference in this world. I will die making a difference. I don't fear death because I know one day I will have to face death. I don't fear people. I. I don't fear people, I'll go up to just about anybody and shake their hand and desire to create a relationship because that's what it's about. Today more than ever, we need to work on relationships. People are afraid. People are afraid to look people in the eye. People are afraid to shake, I, I shook somebody's hand, this, this lady's hand today. It was like, it was like shaking a limp, limp, they say a limp fish handshake, that's what they call it. We have to get tough. We have to raise our standards. We got to know why we're here. We got to focus on our purpose. We got to focus on our dream. And we got to stand up for our rights. And we got to defend ourselves. It may cost us. In fact, it may even cost us our life. Are you willing to stand up for what you believe? Are you willing to raise your standards? Are you willing to fight against the enemies of your mind? I'm telling you, the only way that you're going to be able to do it is with belief and by plugging into the systems and by plugging into coaches and mentors, by humbling yourself and being taught until that faith begins to grow, until that faith begins to elevate within you and you become your own man and your own woman in your own stance and you live according to those purposes that you truly desire to live by and you don't give a hoot about what people say about you or what they think about you because you know who you are and you know your self-worth. This is Santos Rolon Jr. here in Stockton, California. Enjoying a super fantastic evening. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. Help me help others. Share my video. Share this video. Post it on Facebook. Post it on Twitter. Post it on another YouTube channel site. Help me help others. Because as you help me, as I help you, you're helping yourself. Make this world a better place. I'll see you at the top on my very next video. Peace!